Hi, Dan Gill, product manager, a high professional, and uh, we're here to give you guys the scoop on 1.4 beta. Uh, right now, we're in our uh, we're in the beta test cycle for this, and uh, this one should be out soon. Uh, not going to give you an exact date, but it's going to be pretty close. Uh, first thing we want to show you guys is this is actually 64-bit now. Uh, which means that you can use all the RAM you've ever wanted to use. You know, however much you have, it's right there. No more using 32-bit bridges with, uh, with Logic. Uh, so it's going to be much more stable. Uh, but some, some new features that we've added. Uh, in Sample Edit now, we have this great new area up here which shows you your overview of where you're looking. And what you can do now is you can zoom in using Q-Links. And so now when I've zoomed in, I can scroll and I can really get real fine about it. But another thing MPC guys will notice too, it's also changing on the screen. So we have full screen zooming and scrolling. That's brand new. And check out program edit mode. Program edit mode now can be edited using the four-way cursor and the data wheel. So, MPC Studio users rejoice. Now you can really fine-tune your semitones. You really get things nice and nice and easy to use. Um, we've implemented some functions that people have asked for. Uh, no more using the shift key. Uh, you can use it if you're used to it, but what you can also do is you can double tap. So if I wanted to go into sample edit mode and just double tap it real quick, it jumps into sample edit mode. A couple other neat things, uh, my keyboard and mouse have uh, walked away, but we're going to have multiple dragging from the browser. Now you can uh, you can use shift to select a group, or you can do control individual clicks. You can drag them right to the pads, they populate up to the pads. Uh, also, another thing people have been asking for is we now have mini clock receive. So if you want to have, like, just say a dedicated laptop and you want to go to the studio where they have a Pro Tools rig, now you can sync it up to the Pro Tools rig. Um, so that's also something that people have been asking for a lot. Um, but yeah, this is 1.4. A uh, whole bunch of other features in there I'm probably forgetting, but uh, this is going to be out very soon. Very soon.